I think when we invented the SWIFT, uh, the intention was really for mass casualty disaster. It's triggered off with the 911 incident. Okay, so therefore, SCDF civil defense is very relevant. You know, I'm a rescue battalion platoon uh, uh, commander. We invented this together with Dr. Mark, who is also uh, in the civil defense. So, having the the pattern is one thing, but we actually make the whole vehicle and let SCDF do an exercise for six months. They conducted a few big exercises and they were so happy they came back, they said, I want it. SCDF actually respected our pattern. They actually called for, when they called for tender, they were, they were actually in, inside their tender, they were actually put in an agreement where the vendors have to come and sign with us. What's for me there? It's a completely different story. We were the one who caught them doing this because during the 19, uh, 20,000, uh, 2011 uh, National Day rehearsal, during one of the rehearsals, there was a big publicity because SWIFT was actually, or the military army version of SWIFT was actually put up. And there was a big publicity, if you recall, from the TV, uh, Channel News Asia, Chinese newspaper, the Straits Times and everywhere. They carried the story where they, they have a big conference, press conference to tell the world that Mindev has innovation and invented this vehicle. And they showed the capability of this vehicle and Mindev was shown. And that's when we caught them. Because the vehicle looks exactly the same except for colour, which is understood by its camouflage. Man. And that was how it started. When we asked them for uh, to just inform them politely with their letter that this is something under patent, uh, it's already patented. They came back with a very nasty uh, knock uh, and how this whole thing started. We have to no choice but to defend our turf and also to actually let the rest of the Singaporean know that um, they have to respect IP. That's why we have taken the, the route of trying to sue them mm. because they, they were totally very high-handed. So after we have uh, relayed that, Mindev said, you can't sue us because we are ministry. When we uh, went ahead for the court case, it was only after two years because Mindev has said that they could not locate and find an expert witness and they keep postponing mm. and every time it's been granted. So when the expert witness was found and the court was set, they were set for five days. Dr. Mark, myself, only took one and a half days. We finished the cross-examination, our testimonial and everything. Then the lawyers called for a chamber meeting and had a long few hour meeting with the judge. And I was told after we, they came out that the court has been adjourned. There's not going to be a, 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 any witness going up. And the reason given is one, the Angmore expert witness need to go back to US, cannot stay. So the judge says, why, why can't you put in my expert witness? They say, no, because he must be put back to back to their expert witness. Mm. Then why don't you put the two witness of facts from uh, the, the other side, Syntax? So no, because they must be heard by the expert witness. So whatever it is, they cannot go up. So no, no chance for them to be cross-examined. And this was postponed, okay? So while this was being postponed, a date was set in October and then delayed again until January. During this period, Mindev asked for, or the lawyers from Mindev, asked for a 10-day trial. Not a five-day, which we already finished, two, one and a half day. But they asked for a 10-day trial. And the 10-day trial basically means that the the actual cost will go up, escalate. So when the lawyers explain to me this whole concept behind them, I understand. When you sue someone, you pay for the court fee. The first three days of court fee is like that. By the time you hit five days, it's be about 30,000. The moment you hit ten, five to 10 days, it's exponential. So I had to actually put in the booking fee for the court. At the same time, the lawyers asked for a retainer fee close to about half a million. 
and the the estimated they told me is about three quarter million, and I have to give give you up front. So the company wouldn't be able to fight. So this basically means that they also know why they want to drag for ten days. Mm -hmm. It's a war attrition. They basically drag us dry. So we are, I mean, able unable financially to fight them. To quote one of the senior lawyers, okay, um, straight on my face, he said, "In Singapore, the law is not about who is right; it's about who is rich. Who has the money will be right. Who has the money, he'll be okay. You don't have the money, don't even think of fighting. You won't win." So that was told to me on the my face, which is very sad, lah. I think it's a very sad case. I'm actually appointed as a board member of IPOS. I'm a board member appointed by Shamugam for IPOS. Because of this case, I actually wrote and said that I had to resign because IPOS, for the next few years, the roadmap is to make Singapore an IP hub, global IP hub, not just regional but global IP hub, where where IP will be, in fact, our next engine of growth. And here we are trying to promote and. And bring up IP as one of the big engine and IP up, and here my own IP cannot even be protected. Isn't it a mockery? And I think for for us, we did what I feel is right, which is actually stand up for our right, and also to want to hopefully stop the government from doing this to other people, because after our case was out, in fact, a lot of people wrote to me. Of the similar thing, their ideas were stolen, their blueprint was stolen, their invention was stolen by the government. But no one dare to sue, because no one has the ability to sue them, and they were just being told or swallow up and silence. And these people were actually ready to be interviewed by the reporter who did my story. I referred them. They were actually the one who interviewed and gave them all the evidences of the other cases. Right. The story never came to light because the legal advisor or the legal department of the SPH cancelled the whole thing and told them this cannot be reported. It cannot be reported. In fact, one week after that, we were told that the the reporter either has left or sacked. 